Hi, welcome to Pink Piggy. Uh, this is going to be the first video, hopefully a few more to come. But this video, um, as you probably know, as soon as you looked at it, it's Adobe After Effects. How to save an Adobe After Effects CS6 as a .gif, so you've got an animated file. So, first of all, you need to have in Adobe FX uh, your little show setup. You can see I've already done that. Okay, first of all, you need to make sure that you have your composition set so that the composition settings are 15 frame rate maximum. If you have it more than that, Photoshop won't like it. Okay, so that's alright. And then you go to composition, you go to pre-render, so you're clicking on the pre-render comes up at the bottom here and personally I've got to turn off number 11 because otherwise it's going to do it twice for some reason and then go down to number 12 which is ticked and under render settings you can change the render settings so that the quality is best draft or wireframe personally I'm going to put it onto best I want the full resolution so, but for this I'm going to show it on half otherwise it would take a long time Okay, you've got disk space as read only. All the other settings seem to be correct. You can also change your frame rate here. So if you haven't done it before, just check that the frame rate is 15. Okay, so select OK. Next thing you need to do is click on the output mode to click on the custom. Now click on format. You need to make sure that the format is out in QuickTime. Now, QuickTime, uh, you should have it already on your computer. If not, you need to go and get it. Uh, click on the quick time check all these settings are correct personally for me that is exactly correct but you can guys can play around with that click OK now the next thing you do is you click render so if you're going to render those you click on the render and it brings up I'll do it this time and you click OK so now it's going to render and it will re uh, it's rendering here as you can see it's going across it's quite quick because I've set the um, resolution down a bit if you have it quite high, it can take up to three to four minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. Okay, then you go on to where you've put the render file. It gives a little sound when it's done. Now I've put mine on my desktop under the name of the business. Now I just got to scroll down to find it. It'll be P Pig O One Four. So there it is. So you've got it in your file. Uh, that will be in the same place as you save your project. So I come out of that. Next thing you need to do is open up Photoshop CS6. Now I tried doing several different ways of dragging and dropping and trying to just open. But what you need to do is you need to click on Import and click on Video Frames to Layers. Now you've got to find it. So it's Piggy04. And it will allow you to open it in any form, it should open it takes a couple of seconds due to the fact it's quite a large file alright ok so here we've got from the beginning to the end you can crop it a little bit here if it is the wrong amount uh, you can make it an animation, you can limit it to say only does a few frames and you can select the range I just want it to be the whole uh, the whole clip click continue because it will be a lot large file this one Okay, so once it's whizzed through at the bottom here, you'll find the timeline. If you don't have the timeline already up, what you can go is you can go up to Window, and then you click on View Timeline. So you go to Window, and then just down here, you click on Timeline, and that will show at the bottom the timeline. So you've got all these files. Personally, personally speaking, I like to select all the files just to make sure that I've got them all, but you don't actually have to. So you can also check that they're all there, which they are. Clicking all the way through. Now you go to File. You save for web. Of course, in the previous bit, you can actually edit the uh, slideshow. You can actually go through and do, do a bit of touching up and changing it a little bit if you need to. Now, this takes a while to load, as you can see, and then it just jumps a little bit. Uh, when it comes up, you have all the slides here. You can preview them. It's not really needed to. You go up here, you click on GIF. It's already set generally to GIF. The preset, you don't need to touch the preset unless you want to play around with it. Fusion's already set, converted to monitor color, good, and then we're just literally going to click on save. So you click on save, 
and then you change the name so here I've got my test so that's what I did before so I'm going to call this one video dot gif okay so usually I just save it as dot gif make sure that it's images only otherwise it doesn't seem to like it and it takes forever click on save and then literally it should be saving now it takes a few minutes to do it sometimes there you go the bar's nearly finished according to this this is saved if I go on to pink piggy and then I go to the file folder there's the folder there's the video and if I open that it'll open it in an Internet Explorer there you go here's the clip and there it's playing wonderful okay so that's how you do it so what you need to make sure you've got is Adobe After Effects Adobe Photoshop make sure it's both in CS6 and then just follow this through okay so uh, hope you guys find it alright if you have any problems just message me and I'll see if I can sort them out okay thank you for watching Pink Piggy okay.